So guys, hello and welcome to this Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see what is left justification and right justification. So remember, this is the you know syntax for left justification. Basically, we are having some string four and we want to pad it you know by six places. So when we write in this way, I'll explain this syntax to you in the in PyCharm. But when we print this out, it will print out four. And remember, these two hyphens are not actually hyphens; they are spaces. They are not actually hyphens. So actually, let us see what it is in PyCharm. So suppose you have a string s and s equals to say anything like cat. You have the string cat and you have to print out the you know right justified output. So suppose you want the six spaces, basically six spaces that and remember by six spaces. Hold on, first I'll write the syntax. So you'll just write person six and after that what you're going to do is go outside the double quotation marks the, and inside the round bracket between them actually you have to write percent and then the string that is s. And and remember, uh, if you run this code, it will give us an error because percent six means what is percent six? It, it does not know. We have to specify the format specifier, which is s. S stands for a string. So actually, I'll change the string name. Actually, let us say this is s one because I already wrote s over here, so it might get confusing. That's why. So let us say this string is s one, and this s basically stands for a string. That is a format specifier. So if I run this code, see what happened over here is. It printed out cat, but it gave us some spaces. What it did, it printed out three spaces, then it printed out cat. Basically, what is happening over here is, it the length is six actually. So see, first one, two, three are three spaces, and then one, two, and three. That is three elements occupy three spaces. So basically, the total length is six, but you know we are getting this cat to the right, right side. That's why I got six spaces. And what if you write percent minus six x minus six s? So see, actually, where is it? Yeah, see. So if you write minus six x, it will see here what happened. We printed out cat. It printed out three spaces, and then it printed out cat. That's what it did. Now for left justification, what does it do? It basically prints out cat first, and then it will print out the three spaces. So let us see what will happen. So see, it printed out cat, and it will print out three spaces. Obviously, I know you don't know if it is right or wrong. But see, if I highlight it, you might see it. See, if I highlight it, it will just highlight three spaces, and it is not highlighting any further. Up to here only it is there. Actually, that's what I mean. So okay, let us do one thing. I'll not write cat like this. I'll actually change the whole syntax for a better understanding. So we'll print out again. So in double quotation marks, write. Suppose you want to print out now the length you want to be ten. So write percent ten, and suppose it is going to be an integer. So for integer, it stands for d. And after that, after the double quotation mark, and after actually double inverted comma inside the run bracket, you have to write. Percent and the integer value. So obviously you don't have to write the integer value into double quotation marks. Then it will be a string. So it will give us an error. So for writing an integer, suppose I have an integer 24, and if you run this code, it will print out. So basically what will happen? First it will print out eight spaces. Then it will print out these two. That is totally it should be 10. That's what it means. And you can try for left justification as well. So it print out 24, and afterwards it will print out basically 10 10 spaces. And if you write minus, I want to explain you this concept. So see, basically what it is doing is it is padding spaces to the left side, and the number gets gets shifted to the right side. So as the number is getting shifted to the right side, so it is known as right justification. And remember, there is one more easier way to you know uh, right use left justification and right justification. They are actually functions and strings. So I'll discuss that way in the next tutorial. So that's all for this tutorial. Thank you.